let me stop complaining and just do my job um what's up you guys it's your girl baby back again and this is another episode of pop culture news my nigga so cocky he indifferent he dame dash ignorant but i refuse to be your mistress he cocky he indignant he different he dame dash ignorant but i refuse to be your mistress i refuse to live in de-stress not even for this is a uh, uh, some footage that has been posted on threads by 39 year old rapper Gilly the Kid. I only mention his age just to say he too old to be acting like this, but whatever. Oh no, shut up. I'm the only supposed to see that thing. Uh, bring the laser machine home. I'm doing it. Fuck wrong with you. So he's too young to act this way because number one, sir, why is your thinking so rigid to the point where you don't want your girl to go out there and go get a coochie wax or get a laser hair removal so she's smooth and, and baby soft like she wants to be for her own self? Why is it that you want the benefits of having that cat nice and slick, but she can't go out and go to the professionals to go get it done because they're going to have the time of their lives looking at her? Yeah. They could just be having a time of their life looking at your vagina. They see pussy all day. I'm simply saying that it's normal. It's par for the course for a bad bitch to want to go out there and get her cat waxed. There's nothing wrong with that. But he is on live or the internet, Obama's internet, talking about she can't go get waxed because he is insecure. He's essentially letting his insecurities like fly free. This is controlling behavior. And as you can see in, in this part of the video. Like, I'm, I'm, I didn't sign, listen. I'll. He is really mad. You can see his lip quivering. He like, nigga, what did you so mad about? Cause she wanna go get waxed and they gotta look at her, her taint, boy. I mean, pussy is pretty, but I doubt them people is salivating over your girl's vulva. They seize it all the time. This is what they do. Um, I feel like when men do things like this, especially men of a certain generation, older men, old niggas, I feel like they are just doing it as a control tactic. I actually had an older man tell me that I couldn't go get my coochie wax no more. And then when I was trying to go to esthetician, esthetician esthetician school i can say it i'm just sleepy esthetician school uh he told me that i could not because he didn't also at the same time want me looking at anyone else's pussy and waxing them because he was insecure and so when i see men do this and behave this way it's a super duper red flag for me now this is not me telling gilly the kid to because i don't really care what they do in their own relationship that's them however i do personally see this as being a, a huge red flag but what say you have you ever had a, a man try to tell you that you couldn't go out and get the 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 normal services on your body that you are entitled to have you ever had a man tell you couldn't get a massage? You couldn't go get a wax. You couldn't go get your your toes done if it's a, a male s or, or nail a male nail tech. Have you ever had these types of issues with your partner, and how did you overcome them? Me personally, once again, baby girl, I've had those issues. I've had a man try to tell me what I could and could not do. And the way that I handled it is, is that you don't see that motherfucker nowhere around here, do you? Because you can't teach an old dog new tricks. All you can do is either go along with what he want or be arguing for the rest of your life. And I won't need the one of them things. I'm trying to live my best life unapologetically happy. And this to me doesn't seem conducive to happiness, but that's just baby girl over here. They might be very happy. Still, leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. I'll talk to y'all. Oh no, shut up. I'm the only supposed to see that thing. Uh, bring the laser machine home. I'm doing it. Fuck wrong with you. Fuck that. So she gonna, she getting laser hair removal. So she tell me, yeah, I've been going. I'm like, what hair are they removing from where? She talking about, baby, you know where they removing it from. Wait, so wait, so you gotta go and they get ass naked and they gotta see your vagina? She talking about, yeah. Wait, hold on. I didn't sign up for that. Like, I'm, I'm, I didn't sign. Listen, I the person that's in there, they could just be having a time of their life looking at your vagina. You think I'm signing up for that? Now shut up. I'm old school.
You better start waxing. You better do how you used to do. Be here sitting with your legs up. I'm almost done. You just going in places whipping your motherfucking coochie out. I ain't sign up for that shit. Shut up. What? Ain't no shut up. I'm the only supposed to see that thing. Bring the laser machine home. I'm doing it. Fuck wrong with you. Little baby cocky. He indifferent. He dame dash ignorant. I refuse to be a mistress. Usually, mistresses are mysteries. And I'm a full fledged novel, baby. It's thriller. Mike Jackson type thriller. Page turn up. And here's a clue with babies in the library with a burner. <laughs>